Hey everyone, it's TV Shores. It's March the 23rd, 2016. It's 1.13 p.m. Again, I've been studying most of the morning, trying to get together and let the Lord lead me in what he would have me to present. Um, I know I need to pick back up where that last video cut off uh, unexpectedly. So we were about to look at Luke chapter 6. But we're going to back up just a little bit so you can understand why we went there. Uh, if we look back at Matthew chapter 7, it's where we saw um, Jesus speaking about a parable concerning a wise man and a foolish man. And it was about the wise man is the one who hears what the Lord is saying. And does it, and a foolish man, it says, and everyone that heareth these sayings of mine, it's back to the words of the Lord, it's about what he's saying. Everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man. So it's all about hearing what the Lord has to say and doing what he has to say whether or not you are wise or foolish, this parable is illustrating how the wise man is founded on the rock, which is Christ, and the foolish man is founded, uh, built his house on the sand. And I just wanted to back up and re-familiarize you with what that was saying because in Luke 6, we see of the same principle being applied, but the Lord speaks in a little bit different words that helps lend understanding even more. And Luke 6, 47 says, Whosoever cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them, I will show you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built a house and dig deep See, it's talking about getting deep into the things of the Lord again, okay? And having that, that solid foundation and relationship with him. He is like a man which built a house and dig deep and laid the foundation on a rock, which is Christ. And the more we get in the word, the, the more solid we become in the Lord. And it, that's why it's so important that we get in the Word and we spend time in the Word and in seeking Him in prayer and in worship and just in conversation. Many times I sit and just talk to the Lord as if He were sitting right next to me about things that concern me or um, asking Him questions, things that I would like more understanding on and just talking to him about um, whatever I feel I need to bring to him or ask of him and sometimes I just sit and thank him thank him for so many blessings that he's given me and I go I mean I go all the way back to thanking him for the parents that I had, they long since left me, but I'm still very thankful that I had them to ground me in the things of the Lord. But anyway, it, it's all about being grounded in the things of the Lord and digging deep and having that firm foundation in Him. And we see in Matthew 7 that he speaks of it and, and shows us that it is relating to the wise having that foundation in him. It's about hearing and doing. That is the, a wise man because his house is built on the rock. One that heareth and does not do is a foolish man who built upon the sand. And it's important that we understand that 
and and I don't mean to make people think that they're they're way off base. When I say it's important that we understand we have got to get in the word, I know it's different for everyone, but it's about what's in our heart. Are, when we open the word, are we just reading just to say, okay, I've done it? Or are we truly seeking the Lord when we get in the word? Because if we're not truly seeking him when we get into it, we're not building upon our relationship with him because it's about the seeking you know uh, i just explained to a subscriber uh recently um how i go about that of course that's i'm just using me as an example because i know uh what i do and, and what helps me to grow spiritually but i don't sit and just read unless the lord directs me to um, what I do is I ask the Lord to guide me in the word and I let him guide me in opening it. And I ask him to show me what it is he, he wants my attention drawn to. And when something stands out to me, then I start researching it within the word. Now, sometimes I have to go to outside sources like uh, the Strong's or even a dictionary. But... It's about rightly dividing the word when you find something the Lord, you think the Lord is showing you and you want to see uh, what the word has to say in different places that lends understanding to that particular thing that the Lord has drawn your attention to. It, that's called rightly dividing the word. And it's not about picking and choosing. It's about letting the Holy Spirit guide you to these things and guide you in the understanding of these things. And many times, I, I, I don't just sit and read. I even talk to the Lord while I'm doing it. So it's about when it, it speaks of hearing these sayings, hearing the Lord's words, it's about seeking Him. It's not just about reading it. It's about seeking him within it and his understanding. And, you know, once once you've done that a few times and you see the amazing things that he starts opening up to you, you just get a hunger for it that you just can't wait till the next time. But the thing I'm trying to point out here, and it's very important that we understand, and what these two parables are teaching us is that we need to dig deep so that we have laid that foundation on the rock, which is Christ. And, and that is about digging into the word. The word is one of our number one tools because within it, the Lord guides us in many ways, in ways that, that we've not even thought of until we get in there and see what he opens up. Um. I'm going to I'm going to leave that at that and pick up on I think everyone that listens to my videos has an understanding of what's being said and what um lends to bringing you to being uh, the wise and not the foolish. So next we're going to move on to let's see we covered this Matthew 25.3 talking about or did we? Oh no, this is this is what we're picking up. Um, here in Matthew 25.3 we see it says they that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. Of course we discussed this already before. The foolish and the wise both have lamps. They both have, this is symbolic of what's been giving them, given unto them. It's like a tool that the Lord has supplied that they may have light and guidance. And of course, it takes us back to Psalm 119.05. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So the lamp that the Lord has given us is his word, okay? And, of course, it goes beyond just the scripture. we got to seek him in other ways and, and grow our relationship in all the avenues that he has given us. 
But his word is a main tool where we can read and understand the things of the Lord. And we also learn that the lamp represents to beam, give light, or shine. So the main thing I want to get in now is Matthew 25, 4. And, and it says, But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. Okay. The foolish took their lamps but took no oil. But the next verse tells us the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. So we want to, to focus right now what the Lord has led me to is to giving explanation about the oil because the parable of the foolish and the wise is all about this oil that they have. The oil made all the difference. Okay? Um, I think I'm going to cut this off here so it'll load quicker and pick up on the oil making all the difference when we come back.